Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your man Manny Vapors and today's video we're talking about charging. Yes, charging your BMW i8 or your electric vehicle. But we're going to talk about using a aftermarket product made by Vogue RV. It's called the Vogue RV 25. It stands for 25 foot long cord. All right, we're going to talk about why I'm using this and not the one that comes with the BMW i8. And some additional reasons on why you should charge your electric vehicle. Let's go. All right, so I'm here with my BMW i8. Um, I've had it now for about a year. Well, a little over a year now. And when I first bought it, I was super excited to have it. And it did not come with the charger, the factory BMW charger. Now, I don't know if someone took it out when I bought it. I don't know. So through my research, I found a Vogue RV. And... As you can see, it's the standard plug that's on all electric vehicles, except Tesla. Um, if you have a Tesla and you buy this as a aftermarket or an, or an additional um, charger, Tesla gives you an adapter that you can put on there. So you'll still be able to use it. So if you're looking at buying one, this is, this is some of the things that you need to know, all right? So the charging port is on the driver's side, right here on the left side. And you don't have to press a button like you do for the gas which is on the other side. So you just simply press on the right side, pop that open. There's a cap in here, weatherproof cap. Remove the weatherproof cap. And you can grab the trigger part too, because it has to lock in. And once it's locked in, you'll see it flash a few colors, and then you'll know that you're charging, okay? And then when it's all done, it's gonna flash green, or a solid green, and it'll be done. Real simple, real easy. So if you're looking to buy a BMW i8 and you're probably hearing about level one, level two charging, I'm going to break it down for you in layman's terms, in everyday terms that you can understand, okay? Level two gives it a fuller, longer lasting charge. It should extend your driving range if you have a level two charger. Well, what's that? That is commonly known around here as the dryer plug. The dryer plug is your level two. It's going to give it more current. It's going to give it a longer lasting charge, okay? But everybody does not have the dryer plug installed in their garage. I don't. There is the level one adapter. Real simple and easy. No tools required. You just plug that adapter on there and you're good to go. And then you have a level one charger that goes into any house plug. So when you're carrying this charger in the carrying case, this nice carrying case that it has in your trunk of your BMW i8, and you're going to hang out with your friends for the weekend, and you want to charge your vehicle, you can bring this entire setup, very compact, fits in the trunk, and you can plug it right into an outside outlet at their house. Real simple and easy. And I've been, again, I've had my BMW i8 for over a year now. And the benefits of charging it, you know, it's good for the environment. You know, I'm able to drive to work literally on all electric. And well, how far is that? Depending on conditions on how fast you're driving, elevations and different things of that nature, you know, I'm getting around or close to 20 miles on all electric, going at a moderate speed. And it also has regenerative braking. So when I'm in comfort mode, I can take my foot off the brake and it's going to start to charge. And when I'm in all electric mode, it's going to do the same thing. So I take my foot off the brake, it's charging. I give it a little gas, well, give it a little bit of electric power, take my foot off the brake, it's still charging. And it may say 12 miles on the screen, but I'm getting more than that. And that's something that we'll take a look at when we hop inside and kind of talk about, you know, what does it look like on the inside, on the settings, and we'll go through that as well, all right? And you can see that the battery is not completely full. It's at six and it's almost at the 12 range. It's going to be full. It's currently at six. When it gets to the 12, that's the full range. Your battery will be full and you'll see a green light outside of the car where it's currently plugged in. At. That, that ring will turn green. But currently we're at about six miles that we could go on all electric. And I think that's important for you to understand range in your vehicle now we also want to understand well 
how can I increase my range? You know, I know it says 12 miles, but your driving speed, driving style, and some other things, there are some other things you can do to increase your range when you're on all electric. Let's take a look at our settings. Departure time and charging are two things I want to talk about real quick. Let's go into departure time. If you select a departure time, it will actually increase your range. As you can see, for optimal range and comfort, set a departure time. What that does is it the car will condition the battery and prepare the battery for your drive. So you put in whatever time you're planning on leaving, your preconditioning will begin even your air condition or your heat will also begin. And just like with anything else, you know, your air conditioning, your heat pulls from the battery. So if your BMW i8 is preconditioned, you will have more range than you would if you just came outside and hopped in the vehicle. All right, now let's take a look at the actual charging section inside your iDrive system, all right? You have options when you're charging. You can choose to charge immediately, like when you plug it in, it will immediately start to charge, or you can select low cost charging. Low cost charging. I like low cost charging because what you can do is set the time for it to start. In most uh, neighborhoods, uh, your electric company will tell you what times are peak times that they charge the most and times that are off peak that they charge the, the least amount. Because again, you're charging a car. So I have mine set currently to charge immediately but normally i would have it set to low low cost charging here in north carolina where i live at off peak with the power company is after 8 p.m on your weekdays so i would have my car set to only charge at the 8 p.m that way i'm getting the full charge of, of my battery and i'm also saving myself money at the same time if you have it on charge immediately maybe based on your schedule you need to you know quickly charge it up and you got to get back out the door and you want to always have it on charge immediately. And another thing that will extend the life of your battery on the car by charging it is by setting the time. It's called departure time. If you know you're going to leave at 7 a.m. to go play golf or to go to work or wherever you're going to go, you can have in the BMW i app or inside the, phone, inside the car, you can say, hey, I'm going to set my car to start conditioning the battery you know at like 645 so when i actually leave at seven my car's battery has already been conditioned and when you condition the battery it extends the life of the battery and it gives you further driving range versus just hopping in the car taking off the battery has not been conditioned and you'll get less mileage out of your electric vehicle so look into that setting if you have a regular schedule and you're able to put in preconditioning, do that. And another cool feature about that is when I get in the car in the summer, I have it already set for my AC to be on at a moderate temperature. And you can do the same thing for the winter time. You can set those preconditions, your battery is gonna be conditioned, extending the life and giving you more range and the temperature of the vehicle will be nice, comfortable and cozy. That's all I got for today's video, uh, hopefully, you learned something hopefully this information is useful um please like subscribe comment on the video man share the video and hopefully you know we can share how to charge your bmw i8 and many other things with the bmw i8 that i like to share on this channel man so thank you see you later it's your main man vapors you know what we do we swipe up Ooh.